Right, um, I figured I'd record a video to kind of talk about what I've been doing and what I'm planning to do. Um, hopefully I'll do a few of these. Might end up being one of those things that I do one and intend to do more and never do any again. But, whatever, that's fine. Um, kind of it also helps me just get my thoughts together about what I'm going to be doing next. Um, so I've listed a few things up for sale, um, some uh, some like analog synths. Um, so I've got I've got loads of bits down here for making more. I've got, I've got these. I've got these. Um, I've got loads of those. Um, they are all the the IC chips that are the, I've been using as the kind of brain of it all that's a 40106 um, it's kind of a logic uh, chip that um, yeah they used to make a square wave um, and if I don't drop them and break them I've got more of those uh, so that's cool I've got a lot of these these are LM358 so this is a um, an op amp, so you can use that for a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've kind of been messing around. I don't think I have it here. I've been messing around. In fact, yeah, there, there's the remnants of it, but I had to canalise bits of it uh, with a distortion using those. Um, then I also had this in a what's this cotton buds tub. Uh, again, I had to cannibalize this for parts because I ran out. But what I have in here is this which way are we going that is a uh, low pass filter um, so that's kind of cool um, it had the wrong value pots on it I think I ordered logarithmic and I needed linear so now I have linear pots and in fact I might try and solder this tonight there's, there's one of them Oh, that's crap everywhere. I think that's another. Um, so that's kind of neat. That actually sounded okay, but it was. I've not kind of quite figured out the um, the relative levels of everything, so it was making everything really quiet, uh, which I think I know how to fix now. Um, I've been kind of just learning stuff as I go along, trying to figure it out. Um, so that's that. Then. Uh, oh, then I got this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this down here uh, to there. Move some of this crap out of the way. So I've got I've got this thing. Um, so ah, oh, they're over there somewhere. I bought uh, I got some of this. This is a 4017. It's a I think they call it a decade counter, but the thing you can use it for. It's for, it's for doing that. So, and I can make it faster like that, which on its own is just kind of, you know, it's kind of fun, I guess. Um, but then this here, and these here, and these all in here, um, that is a, what's this one called? 4093, I think. So, this is this is similar to the thing I've used in the other synths, except you can kind of put an input into it for each oscillator to control whether the oscillator is on or off. And so I kind of figure that if I feed the signal that's currently driving those LEDs into here, well, you've got a step sequencer then. Um, just need a bunch of a bunch of pots. The outputs from that going into probably a couple of these. I think you can do four oscillators with each one of these, um, and then throw this thing in to the same box, and you've got a kind of get 0303. So that's a uh, that's probably the next thing I'm going to do. Um, let's put this back up. Then I did a um, I put a photo up earlier of this uh, novelty giant novelty computer mouse that I've liberated because it was broken um, so the buttons and the 
mouse wheel and whatnot, um, I think still work. And looking at the circuitry, I think I can basically remove the uh, microcontroller that they they've used and just solder some wires on, um, and then use those as the control or something. I figure it'd be kind of fun to just try and come up with a control scheme that works with that. Um, so I mean, I've had for a while. Um, I mean, I've got a bunch of Arduinos or Arduinos. Not sure how you pronounce that. Um, so I got one of one of these, and I got a bunch of the little, the tiny little nano ones um, as well, so that, that are better for putting inside stuff. So I ended up getting. I've not actually played with these yet, but um, these are endless rotary encoders. Um, so so these are the ones that they kind of. Where are we there? They 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 click as you turn them. And they go, they just keep going, and it's a button as well. So I figure that I can use some of these and this, and I can probably come up with some kind of um, you know control scheme that uses that, and maybe one or two of these, maybe some buttons or something to navigate, but potentially even just like, I don't know, one of these, one of these, a couple of normal pots and then you can like go through menus with this that set what the pots are doing. But then what I also have is these. Uh, these are digitally controlled resistors. So um, on the synth circuits that I'm making at the moment, the way that you change the pitch is by using a potentiometer which is essentially just the resistor that you can change the value of um, and you control it by turning it um, so these you can use something like this again that's the, that's the order you know to control these to change the value of them so what you end up with I think is a digitally controlled analog oscillator so the sound is still coming from a voltage that is being manipulated, you just the thing that is man manipulating it is digital. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna have a fool around with these, um, maybe even tonight, um, just to see if I can come up with something that just to control anything. I guess I'll, I'll test it with like an LED or something. If I can dim an LED using these things, uh, I mean, I've already. I've already messed around with one of these and I know I can program something that will display what I want. Um, I guess I also need to make sure that these do what I think they do. Um, if all that works, then that opens up some cool possibilities. Um, you can essentially use anything to control um, an oscillator, any, any, any device. I've got... Um, I've got some neat stuff from some of these boxes down here that you can't see. Um, like I've got a little, like a gamepad joystick thing that has a click. Um, so I could make something with that. Um, or like you know you could take a, you could take old uh, retro controllers. Or I've seen someone use a Wii controller to control stuff that, um, like on stage that was quite neat. I think they. I think they just had it going into, um, you know, into a PC and controlling some software. But the point of like putting something like this into it is that you can just have it built into the hardware. Um, so I'm actually quite excited about that because, um, yeah, you know, it's like a just a step on in terms of complexity. Um, so that's cool. Uh, oh, the other things I've got. Um, I've been working. I've been trying to figure out how to. Um, so those digital, digitally controlled resistors. Um, that was part of me trying to figure out how to be able to have voltage-controlled oscillators and and filters and whatnot, um, which I've still not got to the bottom of. Um, I have these. These are. Um, I've forgotten what they're called now. The diodes. There are a certain kind of diode uh, that. 
I think I've, I've just not got around to trying it, but I believe I can make a circuit with these that means you can feed a voltage in and the for instance the oscillator will track the voltage that you put in so the pitch will go up as the voltage goes up if I can do that then that's all sorts of crazy shit can happen then um, like you, you can start looking at doing like all sorts of modular stuff um, I got these, these are JFET transistors um, because I was reading about them and that's another thing that you can use so that you can have like a voltage, it, it kind of, you can make it act as a voltage controlled resistor um, again I've not managed to make that work yet but I'll get there eventually um, I got, man there's just so much crap down here um, I've been using these to put stuff together, these are the uh, DuPont, DuPont? Uh, something, connectors, they're cool um, but the shittest glue gun in the world um, so that's quite good I've just been gluing on the back of wherever I've soldered anything to like a pot or something just putting a blob of glue on to make sure that it doesn't work its way loose uh, where's the other neat shit that I had that is a I think it's a one and a half watt power amp um, so yeah that that is kind of cool it's got two um, two kind of uh, what I assume are the output level controls and then just pins like at the bottom there and at the top there um, that was like two quid from China um, so I've got I've got a couple of 12 inch Celestian cones um, over here uh, let's take that off there got two of these um, 12 inch Celestians that I figure I can probably <laughs> run one and a half watts of throbbing power through um, and even if it's just something for me to test things with you know it's worth doing um, and yeah I think that's I think that's what I've got going on uh, I've dropped my resistors on the floor so, um, oh no, no, there is more stuff. So, I've had a, I've had a kind donation of um, a bunch of, a bunch of assorted switches and pots, um, and a load of things to use for enclosures. Uh, I got this thing, um, which I think will make something cool. Um, but then I've got, uh, oh, look at this. This kind of metal radio tin thing. Um, this could even end up being my step sequencer. Um, that's kind of cool. Um, so that's. Oh, oh yeah, and this thing. So yeah, uh, it's a mint tin. So. Uh, I figure I might try and drill out the buttons and the and the D-pad and you know put something in there. I don't know how much room there is inside. Maybe make something cool with that. Um, so yeah, that's that's all the that's my kind of plans at the moment. That's what I've got going on. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to make some more. Um, going to make some more of them little drone synths because um, they're just quite relaxing to make quite easy now that I've got the hang of it um, and yeah I'm gonna carry on with these new designs and hopefully come up with something cool so yeah uh, cheers for watching hopefully this hasn't been too dull and uh, yeah I'll try and do another one of these soon and uh, let you know how I'm getting on with stuff <laughs>